Greetings, out to Scarce Hidden Girl. What is up? We are at the Goodwill in Costa Mesa. This one is one of my favorite stores. Let's check it out. Oh, I can smell the beach from here. It's so nice. But this is like one of the smallest stores in Orange County, but it's so good. I love it. I love going here. Oh my gosh, there's so many costumes here. Crazy. River Island. There's a Jojo Siwa luggage. Okay, Jojo Siwa. Okay. Let's look at the handbags. Palette. Royal Republic. Okay, I don't think I really see any handbags. See that in pleather, pleather. All right, let's take a look through the rest of the store. Oh my gosh, I love this unicorn mug. I actually have this. This is the one from Target. It's only $3.99. Should I get it? We'll see. I don't want to carry it around because I have just in case. Oh, this is cute. Planters. Oh, there's an iridescent planter down there. Oh, that's some redone. From, oh no, this isn't redone. This is a Korean barrel. Different cheese plates. This is cool. For peepers. This is 10 bucks. They always have interesting furniture pieces here. Look at this little triangular number. Some platters. Faces. Salt and pepper shakers. Is this a bird? Oh, it's an angel. Studio Nova. Look at that fish. <laughs> Mom's night out. Okay, what do we. Oh! Another iridescent piece. That's pretty. Oh, they're bringing out a cart. I don't think there's anything too interesting on it though. It's like literally three things on there. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is that? No. Wait, this is... I know this piece. This is like from Crate and Barrel or something because I actually have one of these. One ninety nine. This is uh, this is also like a pretty good little vase. Uh, okay, I'm gonna think about that. But I know that's Crane Barrel for sure because I actually own that. These are pretty. It's like a watercolor flower type thing. This looks like anthropology, but it's not. Look at that little bear. I need a bear hug. Let's look at the plates and stuff. Anything like anthro or crate and barrel. Oh, oh this is cute. Oh, wait for the holidays. That's fun. My pie. My pie makes cute stuff. Oh, what's this? This looks like anthropology. Oh, it is. $2.99. Okay. These are cute, like little spoon rests. These are good gifts. You always need a spoon rest. I wonder if we can find any other anthropology piece. Oh my gosh, Hercules. Oh, but the grand and gladiator, Hercules. Cute. 
These plates are cool. Jackson, China, Falls Creek, Pennsylvania. Where's that cute? I think these are the Missoni for Target bowls. Oh, they are. Do I need these? There's three of them, but they're bigger. You know, you gotta pay individually. Those are heavy. Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house and I'm super duper excited to share you guys what we ended up getting today. We went to the Goodwill and then we also went to Crossroads and th I, I only got one thing from the Goodwill. There she is. It is this really nice leather backpack. I really love the style of it. It kind of looks like a motorcycle jacket. Oh my god, hiccup. It looks like a motorcycle jacket, excuse me. Oh my gosh. I love all the details. There's all this quilting. There's like the buckles, lots of compartments. It's really, really cool. This was only 10 bucks. And the brand is called Neil Barrett. That's not a brand I'm familiar with, but I looked up their items and their, their bags and stuff like are pretty expensive. And you can't really beat an all leather backpack. An all leather backpack I feel like is always fantastic. It's always a great option. I think they always look chic and they're super useful. So 10 bucks for our all leather backpack I think was a great deal. So we got that. Thank you, Neil Barrett. And then uh, we went, to, oh, sorry, I hit you guys. We went to Crossroads and oh, look okay, at, let me start off. I'm so excited for this jacket. This is a Arcteric puffer jacket and this is this is coming right on time for fall winter arcteryx this is a like this brand is actually pretty expensive like a uh, kind of like sportswear kind of clothing you know like people that go hiking and camping and stuff like that uh arcteryx stuff is also very well made i hear and I don't ever really see it very often. I don't think I've ever, I think I've only ever gotten like one t-shirt from like a, from a thrift store. And every time I see it from like a buy, sell, trade store or something like that, they're always not my size or they're pretty expensive and also still not my size. And this is the first time I've found one in my size for a great price. This is $37.50. It's blue, it's in great shape. And I am very, very excited. This is perfect. I'm so happy. So I finally found my Arcteryx piece. So if you guys are ever at the thrift store, you see this logo. This is usually like the logo that they have like on their shirts or like items of clothing. And like their tags are just like black. They're just like black like that. Um, and then these are what like the inner tags look like. It's a very like cool, like nondescript brand. Like I'm obsessed. So I'm super excited. Yay, Arctic. Okay, so I got that. I'm very pleased. I can't wait to wash that up and wear it. Then I picked up, this is a really cute Bagu crossbody bag. I believe this print is also retired now. So I don't believe they make these anymore. And it is kind of like this, I believe it's like a leopard or is it a cheetah? I always get confused with the, like what the designs are. I, is it cheetah? I think it might be a cheetah or a leopard. But it was $18.50. Really cute, it's a little crossbody bag. It's in really great condition. The inside is nice and clean. Our little bagu tag is right there. And this is just a great crossbody bag. It has a pouch right there. Ooh, there's a pocket in the back. Perfect everyday bag and a really fun print. I'm still, I, I'm so excited. Like, I don't know if I told you guys about this, but there was a recent collaboration with one of my favorite characters, Gudutama. And I purchased the bag, but they, they don't, like, it's just pre order right now. They don't come out till January of next year. So I'm just waiting. I'm just like bidding my time, just like, January, where are you? Ah, the best thing though is if they did like a collaboration with Pokemon. Can you imagine the Pokemon all around me? Pokemon or another one that would be really cool would be anything Studio Ghibli. Totoro would be so amazing. And if there's anyone 
that is like in Indonesia or whatever, like they released a Studio Ghibli um, Uniqlo collaboration, but it's only like in Indonesia, I believe, in a somewhere in Asia. It's like an if anyone's going to Asia, <laughs> please buy me some pieces. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, who's is anyone gonna go to the Philippines? My cousin, um, I think my cousin said that she saw some pieces in the Philippines, but like, I don't want to have her like ship it over. Oh, it's just like so expensive. I feel like shipping from the Philippines is so dodgy too. Like, it takes eight million years. Anyway, I'm like, I just need to go to the Philippines so I can pick up some pieces. But that would be completely unhinged. All right, next item that I got is the cutest Rebecca Minkoff bag that you have ever seen. Also, I feel like I just have like little fuzzies, like lint all over me. I don't know what is happening. But this is the cutest Rebecca Minkoff, like little mini crossbody bag. It's in this blue leather, silver hardware. I love that it has like this little silver chain, top handle, and then a crossbody strap. You got a pocket right here. I love the hardware too. Like it's like a little lock, but it's like built into the leather that pops open and... There is like this pen mark. I'm hoping I can remove that because like the leather is kind of like glazed. So I feel like hope like maybe I just a little cleaner can get that out. Uh, but it has four little card pockets inside of there. It's such a cute little bag. So I'm hoping like that'll come out. But we shall see. But it's so cute and it's in the inside. So it's not like that big of a deal. But it's so cute. And I again, I just love the hardware. And I got this one for 28 bucks. Rebecca Minkoff. Amazing. Okay, now this. I'm trying really hard not to, like, hoard this for myself. But in my little hands, I have a pair of Gentle Monster sunglasses. These are so, so cute. Look at it. I love it. I kind of, like, want to keep the box and everything. I don't know if that's, like, too crazy. Um, I also really like... The little, like, the sunglass case. I, th I feel like it's super fun. And you open it up. Here they are on the inside. I just love the packaging for Gentle Monster glasses. They're so cool. And this is a pair of, like, aviators. From far away, I thought that these were actually Dior sunglasses. Because they look like the Dior... Diorama? Dior... Ever... I forget the name of the sunglasses. But they look very similar. This is how they look on. I feel like they're so cool. They're so chic. I feel like they're really fun. And I like the shape and the, like, they're blue too, which is pretty, like, I don't really see very many, like, blue lensed glasses. The only thing is that there are, like, some scratches on the frame, on the lenses. Uh, they're nothing crazy, but they, there are some scratches on them. I'm trying to just, like, make sure that I'm, these just aren't, like, all fingerprints. But there are. I know for sure there's a couple little ones. Yeah, there's a couple little ones. Especially on the right frame. There's, like, um, a little bit more than the other side. But it's primarily, like, right here. By kind of, like, the nose piece. I don't know if that's showing. But they're so cute, though, regardless. And you don't see them when you're wearing them. Such cute sunglasses. I love them. Ugh. Why do they make such good sunglasses? I feel like... Gentle Monsters is kind of, like, becoming one of my new favorite brands for sunglasses. Because I love Celine. I love, um, Oliver Peoples. I love, for some reason, I also, like, love Fendi Aviators. I love them. I'm obsessed. My favorite pair of Aviators are Fendi. Um, I also do love, um, Bottega sunglasses. But, oh, Gentle Monsters. I, I, I have a, I can't even talk anymore. I have a collaboration, Fendi and Gentle Monster pair of sunglasses, and they are fantastic. I love them so much. Also, I love the arms of these sunglasses, too. I think they're really chic, really cool. And, I don't know, I can't say enough about this. They're just really great sunglasses, but I can't keep them all, Hadrian, don't do it. But this is, like, literally a complete set. It has everything inside there, all the paperwork and all that stuff is inside so super duper cool and yeah that is going to round out today's little haul i hope you guys had fun checking out the store with me uh don't forget to tune in bright and early at 7 a.m tomorrow for a new video and check out the next live sale as well i hope to see you guys at one of the sales they're super fun i love chatting with you guys during them and i love you guys all immensely i'll see you guys all in the next video bye guys <laughs>